Hi, I'm registered dietitian and nutritionist Wendy Wesley, and I'm here in the St. Petersburg Free Clinic Teaching Kitchen. And today I want to talk to you about one of the favorite, my favorite things to teach people is how to use their hands as tools for measurement. The beautiful thing about teaching you how to use your hands as tools for measurement is that everywhere you go, you take these with you. So uh, uh, I, I do use things like this to teach when I teach cooking, um, and I also teach portion sizes, but I also like to always translate it to the hand. And um, the first, one of the things I always do when I'm teaching is I say, okay, everybody make a fist. And I do this in the grocery store when I'm doing a grocery store tour, when I'm giving a diabetes lecture, I say, everybody make a fist. The volume of your fist from the wrist up, okay, from this, from this knuckle where I'm grabbing up, the volume of this is about equivalent to one cup, okay? So this is one cup. You see how my hand kind of fits in one cup. Now I know what everyone is saying, but Wendy, I'm a six foot tall man and I weigh 235 pounds and my fist is bigger than your fist. So let's say that this is a relative kind of measurement. So you at six foot tall at 235 pounds, you need more energy during the course of the day to do what you do, which is respiration, dig digestion, moving around, brain activity, all that stuff, um, than I do um, as a smaller person. So it's relative. So you can go ahead and use your fist and say this is an approximate amount of one cup. So a lot of foods are one cup serving size. For instance, cereal. Most cereals are about three quarter cup or a cup of a serving size, a cup serving size. So when you're in, in the grocery store, okay, do this. When you see a cereal that you think, oh, I think I would really like to eat that, you grab it and you look at the serving size and I'm, it's, pro it's gonna be probably about a cup, usually. And then ask yourself, how likely am I to eat one cup of this cereal? Be honest with yourself. You're only fooling yourself. If you lie to yourself and you say, I, oh yeah, I just eat a cup, so make a fist. How likely am I to eat this amount of cereal? Um, I, I know a lot of people tend to take cereal and just pour, 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 um, kind of an indiscriminate amount into a bowl. And that truly is not a reflection of what the food manufacturer has intended for you because the calories and the fat and the carbohydrates and sodium and everything listed on a label has to do directly, it directly correlates with the serving size. So one cup of that cereal is what, I don't know, 150 whatever calories. But if you're kind of just pouring, 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 you're, you may be overeating. And if you, especially if you have diabetes, carbohydrates are a major, major source of, of, of carbohydrate. Um, so this is something really to look at. So um, your fist is one cup. Okay, the other thing I do in the grocery store, everybody two thumbs up. Everybody two thumbs up, okay? Um, the volume of your thumb, again, relative. My thumb will be smaller than some people's, other people's thumbs. Um, the volume of your thumb from this bottom knuckle is about the volume of a tablespoon, okay? See how magic that is? That's about a tablespoon, which is this guy right here. Another thing, when you're evaluating recipes and you see something that says TBS, TBS, that is tablespoon. Um, I make rest, I'm made a, making a recipe right now and it's calling for tablespoons and this is a tablespoon or about the volume of your thumb. So why is this important? So a lot of the things we eat that are very, very high fat foods, including butter, my favorite thing, butter, sour cream, okay, uh, mayonnaise, mayonnaise, and then peanut butter. I, I should have grabbed the peanut butter, but peanut butter, the serving size for them is two tablespoons. So everybody, two thumbs up. Wah, wah. I know, I, I hate to say this, but truly you cannot change what you don't acknowledge. So now, now you know the serving size of things like sour cream, mayonnaise, peanut butter, and butter, which are very, very calorically dense foods, is two tablespoons or the volume of two thumbs, okay? Most people go over that. Um, but now you're aware and now if you are having, if you're struggling with your weight or you like, I just can't take, you might want to look at serving sizes, look at serving sizes and use your hand to do it. Another cool trick, um, nuts. If you want to have about a serving size of these peanuts is one ounce. So let's say for instance, um, one ounce is what fits in the palm of your hand without spilling over. Okay. All right. Can you see that? All right, that's about one ounce, one ounce of nuts for 170 calories. All right, cool, cool. What else do we have? Um, okay, tablespoon, one tablespoon of soy sauce is the serving size. Okay, super, super high sodium. 960 milligrams of sodium in one tablespoon of soy. Wow, salad dressing is another one of those things that's two thumbs up. 
Two thumbs up of this blue cheese dressing, serving size. Two thumbs up of this Caesar dressing, serving size. Same with oil-based dressings. Okay, what else can I show you that's pretty cool? Oats, serving size is um, one cup. I'm gonna, excuse me, one half cup, and I'm gonna say that's uncooked, okay? And then when it cooks, it swells with water and it'll be more, so one half cup. So take your, your fist and kind of, and uh, bisect it, bisect it into half and say that, wow, that's a serving size, or, Get out your measuring cup. Here's a half cup. This is a serving size of oats, uncooked. Okay, rice, quarter cup, uncooked, but after cooked, one cup. So after you cook this rice, get your measuring cup or you know eyeball it with your fist and, say, and that is your serving size of rice. By the way, 38 grams of carbohydrate for the rice, which if you are looking at carbohydrates, this rice would be your carbohydrate for the entire meal at 38 grams of carbohydrate, maybe just a little bit more. It's not very good to go much over that, maybe a little bit over that. So what else can I tell you that's cool? Oh, oh, pa oh, cheese. Okay, one ounce of cheese, two fingers, is the volume of two fingers. It's not much. I know, I know, two fingers. Okay, another cool trick is pasta. Everybody kind of struggles with pasta, so this is dried pasta. So... Um, so if you kind of look down your finger like this, kind of like you're looking down the barrel of a gun. So the, um, the serving size of stick pasta, uncooked, is about the, the diameter, okay, of, that's a little too much, the diameter of your two fingers. Let's put a little bit back. <laughs> don't put it, don't put any back. More, more, right? So the diameter here of your two fingers, see this is about a serving size of pasta. Got it? Okay, cool. So now you know, and again, you cannot change what you don't acknowledge. So if you're having trouble with diabetes, elevated blood glucose, or you, you, that stubborn weight won't come off, it's portion sizes, portion sizes, portion sizes, and use your hand as a great tool uh, to estimate portion sizes when you're um, out grocery shopping or you're out somewhere else. Um, and then otherwise, um, get comfortable with, with your measurements. So I'm Wendy Wesley, registered dietitian, nutritionist here in the St. Petersburg Free Clinic Teaching Kitchen, and I thank you for listening. Okay, bye-bye.